Something that we have heard consistently this side of COVID-19 is that hiring people has become a major pain point for many business owners. There's indeed zip recruiter, career builder, simply hired, and on and on and on it goes. Should you post your jobs in there? Should you post them somewhere else? Something we have been helping our clients with is leveraging Google for jobs, similar to Google Business Profile, similar to how Google uh, presents search results for plane tickets and um, hotel rooms. There's an opportunity for you as a small business owner to get your job listing on top of even all of those big job listing sites. And in this video, we're gonna show you how we have been able to do this for our one of our clients for over two years. Stay tuned. Okay, this is our client sitting on top of Google for jobs. You can see for the search term CDL, truck driving jobs, Flint, that'd be Flint of Flint water. Above, above the organic search results is this Google for jobs window. Sometimes there are ads above it. Sometimes in this case today, there's not. Below it though, you can see the organic search results including powerhouses like Indeed, Indeed, Simply Hired, ZipRecruiter, ZipRecruiter. Here's our client, Glassdoor, and a billion dollar competitor. Now in the course of doing all of this, of um, you will end up hopefully um, with higher organic search ranking as well. But the key is to be on top of the Google for jobs search result. Inside of this, are the specifics to the job. This is the job title. There's a link that you add to the uh, to the schema code um, that will take the take the um, applicant to the pay to the page you want him to go. Um, highlights, benefits, and so forth. It's very similar to Google Business Profiles. So the same thing where the top three are presented, and then many, many, many more places below it. For any local SEOer, you know the various things that we do to get someone into the top, uh, into the map pack. In this case, it's the Google for Jobs pack. It all begins on the page. The page is um, optimized. The page, and by optimized, I'm talking um, your standard. SEO optimization um, work, URL, meta page title, H1s, and so forth, all in alignment. What we have also done is we've always provided uh, or we've always linked to this page here um, in, in the site with a, with a jobs listing. So it's among other jobs as well. The link to the page. And this is the one we're driving people to. This is what we're getting found for. This is on a Wix site. So we use a uh, technical SEO schema, um, schema markup generator. We fill this out as completely as we can. And we'll come back to the date posted and the expire date. Those, are, um, those will be important on the ongoing basis. Once we generate the schema, it will look something like this and like all things schema it's a matter of round pegs round holes and by giving google what they're after hopefully you're going to end up at the top of the google for jobs search result once we have we have generated our schema code at least in wix we come and we add schema code and uh upload upload the schema code the first time. Once we're done with the schema code, this is where it all goes in. Once we're done with the schema code, we'll go to Search Console. Now, I will say that if your if your website is on a CMS like WordPress, you probably and hopefully have a, a um, schema markup down below on that page. In which case, you just do the same thing there. Either way. Once you've generated the schema code, then you want to, and what we've done is we upload the sitemap. Within a day or two, 
we get an updated um, search result um, and are hopefully found. Now, in order to, to um, continuously be here, and again, this would I wouldn't suggest doing this for a job that you just hire, it's filled, and you're done. This is one of those jobs where, in this case for our client, where they're always needing and wanting more uh, because of, te- of, of uh, turnover or what or opportunity. They're always wanting to add to their team. This is a this is a great opportunity to do that. So then, what we do is, on a monthly basis, we have a process where, and th- and this is how we've been able to stay in this position for two years. And and trust me, this is a highly competitive. Um, like many jobs nowadays, highly competitive um, uh, job listing. We come back to, in our case, we come back to where the schema code is um, is on the page. In your case, if you're using WordPress, um, you just go go find this spot. And what you're looking for is the date posted and valid through. Once a month, we go in and we change the date to what it is. Today is January 27th. We're um, in the year 2022. And what we have done is we make it valid for a month. We make it a valid until next month and then, and then we save it. What we do then is we come uh, every time we come to search console, we upload the new site map. We don't necessarily request an index or a crawl on that page. We just do the site map. And with generally within a couple days, we get our search result ranking. And oftentimes we're already in this spot and it'll just change from, you know, however many days ago, it'll change to a couple days ago and it keeps it fresh. And I think this rhythm um, is what uh, Google is rewarding and why uh, we have continued to stay on top. So good luck. And there you have it. That is how we've been able to keep our clients job listing on top of Google for jobs for over two years. If you have any questions, leave it down below or reach out to us on our website. Thanks.